we're into the first week of April and we're still getting some storms. We're supposed to get, uh, I think overnight we're supposed to get close to a foot. Right now we got, uh, we got about two inches down. We're just going to make our way down and clean up the seniors home contract. I like to keep it cleaned up once it gets to about an inch, a little more, a couple inches. This will be our 11th storm this winter. Like I said in previous videos, normally we have uh, between 16 and 20, roughly. So this will be number 11, so it's been a pretty slow winter, but at least we got some. Normally I can travel along uh, 32 kilometers an hour, I think it's pretty much max speed with the tractor, so it gets from point A to point B pretty quick. When it's only a couple inches like this, I'll leave it in high range in first gear, but when it's thicker snow, you get up to a foot, half a foot, I'll put it in low range in fourth gear. I find those are the best uh, gears for me for plowing. The one thing you got to watch with these tractors is uh, riding the clutch. The tractor I had before was hydrostatic, so you kind of get used to that. And I uh, caught myself riding the clutch a couple times. So that's one thing you gotta watch with these tractors, is just riding the clutch on them. Sorry for the noise of the fan, but windows are fogging up so quick on me. to pick up some more commercial contracts I definitely would look at other pushers reason being is <clears throat> this one is uh, when you hook up with it it's solid so <clears throat> any little movement the tractor makes on a rough asphalt the pusher goes with it if you don't want to talk about it. a lot of these newer pushers out now have a floating frame on the on the front that you hook up to so it gives you about six inches up six inches down roughly maybe a little more <clears throat> playroom so when your machine does go over those bumps your uh, your pusher will stay flat on the asphalt so this is what i was talking about guys in this frame here where we hook up the loader to the the frame on the pusher <laughs> The pushers that I've seen, once you hook up, they allow this, this loader boom to float six inches or eight inches up and the same going down. So it allows that pusher to follow the contour of the asphalt a lot better than this solid hookup system. But this one has a trip edge. So 
but for what I'm doing, it works. It works good. pushers with the individual cutting blades that float along the contour of the asphalt they get to be pretty expensive you get up over ten thousand dollars for some of them pushers for you know 10 foot pusher but when you're bidding on contracts that take a lot of salt <clears throat> they say it cuts your salt down 50 percent so in the long run it's definitely worth the investment makes a nice pusher you don't see too many arctics in Canada right right yet you see a lot of the guys using them on YouTube down in the States uh, metal plus you see a lot in Canada their manufacturers in Quebec and uh, they're a really nice they make a really nice plow and pusher you know different types of plows But I also notice uh, if you check the Fisher website or even the Fisher uh, YouTube channel, Fisher's coming out with a new storm box. You can get it, I believe, from 8 foot all the way up to 16, maybe longer. And it has the individual floating cutting edges. It's a really neat design. They got a few other different things there for the side shoes on the, you know, your side skid shoes there. You got some springs on them and they got a design to make it easy to change the, the wear plates on them. You can reverse them, flip them around, but yeah, I'd advise, if you're looking at pushers, I'd advise you to have a look at that Fisher Storm Box. It looks like it's going to be a nice pusher, depending on price for sure, compared to the other competitors. plow on my pickup truck. It's been a great plow. I haven't had, you know, I've had it two winters. I haven't had a single issue with it. But a couple of my friends have uh, Fisher V plow stainless. And when I park my Boss Super Duty beside their Fisher, there's no comparison. The, the Fisher is just so much more beefier with the mainframe and push iron. Like everything is almost twice the size for strength. I don't know how they do it because I don't think their weight is that much more than the boss, if any. They got higher wings. So I don't know. I mean, this plow is going to last me a long time, but it might be something I'll look at in the future. Definitely going to look at into that storm box. You know, it just come out, so I'd like to give it a year or two to see how guys like it, but definitely interested in that, for sure. The one thing I do find about the Boss plow, compared to my buddies, is uh, the Boss, you know, angling the plow and the different functions is faster than the Fisher, you know, for how much more it's faster, is it, I don't know, is it worth making that decision? But it's been a good plow. I like about these Kubota tractors, they got the defrost on the back and side windows. For days like this, it's nice, keeps your windows with defrost.
the snow is still coming down pretty hard. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you like the content, hit that thumbs up button. We'll catch you on the next video.